So this is going to be a little explanation on how to find the surface area of a cylinder. So first, let's start with the cylinder. And unlike the first video, I'm actually going to go through this problem. So a cylinder, let's say it has a radius of 10 and a height of 20. I'm going to give myself nice and easy numbers to work with. Now, if I were to cut my cylinder around the the circles. So I'm going to make a cut here, around here. I'm going to make a cut around here. And then I'm going to have to cut, you know, down down the side. I'm going to end up with three shapes. I'm going to end up with a top, that's a circle. I'm going to end up with this middle section, which is a rectangle. And finally, I'm going to end up with a the bottom, which is a circle. So I'm going to have to find the area of these three shapes. To find the area of a circle, it's simply pi r squared. So let's do that with a radius of 10. So we have area is equal to pi times 10 squared. Well, 10 squared is 100, so we have pi times 100. Pi times 100 is simply 314. So I'm going to write that volume in my circle. Now the volume of the bottom is going to be identical because they are identical circles, so I'm just going to write 314 here as well. Now the tricky part for finding the volume of a cylinder is finding the, er, sorry, finding the surface area of a cylinder, <coughs> is finding the area of this rectangle. Now this distance from here to here is the height. So in my example, I have a height of 20. This distance here is going to be the circumference because it wraps around the circle. And circumference is diameter times pi. Well, the diameter of this circle is 20. So I have 20 times pi. So if I pull up my calculator and I multiply 20 times pi, I'm going to get, oops, a six, well, I'm going to get 60, 62.8, but let's do that again. 20 times 3.14, 62.8. So my circumference is 62.8. So to find the area of this rectangle, it's going to be the circumference times the height. And the circumference times the height, I have my circumference, I'm going to multiply it by my height of 20. And so this area is 1,256. Now, in my example, I didn't include a unit of measure. So the unit that I'm going to be using is just simply units. And this is unit squared, as well as unit squared here and unit squared here. So my last piece to find the surface area of this shape is to add these three volumes together. So I have the volume, oh sorry, the area of the rectangle plus the area of the top plus the area of the bottom. And I get a surface area of 1,884 units squared. And it's units squared because we're talking about area, which is in two dimensions. There's also an equation for those people who prefer equations. The surface area of a cylinder is equal to 2 times pi r squared. So that represents the top and the bottom, the area of the top and the bottom, plus circumference, so that's diameter pi times the height. And that represents this rectangle. And so this equation could also be used.